training module, programming a continuous primary infusion using the drug library. Before use, please refer to the Novum IQ Large Volume Infusion Pump Operator's Manual to review all cautions and warnings. To set up a continuous primary infusion, follow these steps to select a care area and drug. Press power to power on the pump. The new patient screen may appear. The pump retains previously programmed infusion values up to 24 hours after power off. Press the Yes soft key to clear the previously programmed infusion values and go to the care area screen. Note. When a new drug is required for the same patient, press the Yes soft key. The total given will be reset to zero. Press the No soft key to retain the previously programmed infusion values. Refer to the Preparing and Loading the Administration Set training module prior to loading the tubing. Press the arrow soft keys to select the care area. For this example, select Med Surge. Then press OK. At the Drug Search screen, use the alphanumeric hard keys to enter the first two letters of the drug name. Press the key multiple times to enter the desired letter. For example, press the 5 key two times for the letter N, and then press the 1 key once for the letter A to display sodium chloride. Note, press the backspace arrow soft key to clear letters entered in error. Press the arrow soft keys to move the cursor to the correct drug name. Note. If the required drug is not listed in the drug selection screen, request that the drug be added to the drug library per the facility's procedures. Refer to training module Programming in Basic Mode when the drug is not listed in the drug library. Press OK. The confirmation screen appears. At this screen, you have the following options. Press the No soft key to return to the drug selection screen. Press the Yes soft key to confirm the selected drug the infusion programming screen appears. Enter the dose for drugs configured with a dose mode or enter the rate for rate-based drugs. For drugs configured with a dose, the rate in milliliters per hour is auto-calculated when you enter the dose. Note that values required to be entered will be highlighted in gray on the screen in sequential order. The VTBI may also be programmed at this time if not configured in the drug library. Enter the rate. Press OK to confirm. Note, the dose or rate entered is checked against the limits configured in the drug library. A limit alert will appear if the value entered exceeds configured limits. Enter the volume to be infused, VTBI. Then press OK to confirm, or confirm the pre-programmed values and press OK. Time parameters are automatically calculated when you enter and confirm the VTBI. Review the values for the displayed drug to make sure that they are displayed correctly on the screen. Note, verify that the total VTBI does not exceed the volume in the container. Press the Run Stop key to start the infusion. The Check Flow screen will appear to allow you to verify that the infusion is flowing. A check flow screen will not appear for a care area with the word anesthesia, case insensitive, or a care area with the word OR, uppercase, in its name. Visually check the flow. Make sure that all clamps are open, there are no kinks or collapses in the tubing outside of the pump, and drops are flowing in the drip chamber. At very low rates, it takes several minutes to see drops. At this screen, you have the following options. Press the Yes soft key if all of the above conditions are confirmed. Press the No soft key if no drops are flowing. If the No soft key is pressed, a screen appears to remind you to verify that all clamps are open and to check for kinks in the tubing and occluded catheters. This screen appears briefly and is followed by the primary check flow screen. You can confirm the flow from this screen. VTBI change during an infusion. The volume to be infused, or VTBI, of a continuous infusion may be changed without interrupting the infusion. To change the VTBI while an infusion is running, press the Review Edit VTBI soft key. The Drug Setup screen appears. Press the Edit VTBI soft key. Enter the new VTBI. Press OK to confirm. 
press Run Stop to begin the infusion with the new VTBI. The Run screen appears with the new VTBI. Bolus Dose in Continuous Infusion A bolus dose for a continuous infusion can be programmed at any time after the infusion has started. If enabled in the drug library, a bolus could be programmed. The bolus dose must be programmed while the infusion is running. To program a bolus dose in a continuous infusion, press the bolus soft key. The bolus setup screen appears. Enter the amount in milliliters to be delivered. Press OK to confirm. If you wish to change the time units to seconds, you may press the change to seconds soft key. Enter the time duration for the bolus dose. You may press the clear time soft key to clear the time entry. Press OK to confirm. Both the amount and time are checked against the limits if they have been configured in the drug library. Note, you may press the Cancel Bolus soft key to cancel the bolus dose and return to the previous screen at any time. You may press the Edit Bolus soft key to change the entry. Press Run Stop to begin the bolus dose. The bolus run screen displays the amount of the bolus dose given and the running bar color changes from green to blue. Press the Review Bolus Soft key to review the entry at any time during the bolus. Note, the amount given increases until the total bolus amount that was programmed has been delivered. The primary infusion resumes automatically when the bolus dose has been delivered.